In view of the trend of increasing local transmission and the number of unlinked cases, the task force has decided that we must make a decisive move at this point to further curb the spread of the infection. From 7 April until 4th of May, both inclusive, we will put in place enhanced set of safe distancing measures as a circuit breaker to slow the infection. The aim is to reduce much more significantly movements and interactions in both public and private places. To do this, we will move towards a full home-based learning for our schools and close most physical workplace premises, save for those providing essential services and in selected economic sectors, which are critical for our local and the global supply chains. My colleagues from the task force will provide more information on the various measures shortly. The key advice for Singaporeans is to stay home. Go out only for essential services. And if you need to go out, avoid close contacts with crowds or with people. If it is not possible to avoid close contact, wear a reusable mask will be helpful. We, know, we understand that these measures are very difficult ones and will create a lot of inconveniences. We will have to change our habits and our daily routines. But these measures are important and necessary to protect Singaporeans and keep us and our family members safe. The government will do what we can to help Singaporeans tide over this period. We will announce additional measures next week to provide support for businesses and for households. Each of us must play our part and keep a lookout for one another. Stay united and we can get through this together.